Hello you what's his face, it's Tygon here and today we are playing Call of Duty Mobile and I have a bit of an unorthodox video for you guys once again. I'm going up against an entire team of campers and when I mean campers, these guys were prepared. They had every single thing you could possibly need to camp except for the ACOG scope. I actually didn't see them use the ACOG scope but for this particular map I don't think they necessarily needed it. But they had shotguns, they had the guardian uh, operator skill. They had knives and secondaries, basically anything to take you out in close range. So it was me and D and G playing against these guys and most of our teammates, they just rushed in and kept on dying to them like I did for like the first, I think, three or four deaths I had. I was usually able to pick at least one of them off before I died, but there was no way I was going to get them because I could hop down, right? But the only thing I was going to do is I was going to grab one kill but then get taken out by the other because they were stacked by two and there was a narrow path. That's the only way I could get them. And they were basically trying to play time. Once they already got they basically got the jump on us. And the only thing we could do in that case is basically just run and try to get capture back those kills. I mean, now that I think about it more, maybe we could have, you know, done certain things like, for example gone and use a smoke grenade so they couldn't see us but we weren't thinking about that because that wasn't our class setup we were just trying to rush and get the kills fast enough because they already had the lead on us and they were waiting out time i try to get everyone to go together you know try to all rush them because that's the only way we we're gonna actually get in but they didn't listen luckily me and dng were in a phone call so we were able to coordinate this and the first time it didn't really work i had called them over and said okay let's both throw our grenades down here and then rush them so we both did it. I rushed them, and with my knife, I <laughs> missed that guy because DNG got him. I would have went further, but we didn't know who was gonna take out who, and it didn't work so well. But I was able to get down once again. And as I said, I usually am able to get one person down, but I'm not able to get the second one. So I went into my operator skill was ready. Took one of them out because it's a one-shot kill just anywhere using the um, this operator skill, and we were able to actually break through. So me and DNG were the first to be able to break through. Of our team and once we got them off of their momentum of you know basically being able to hold it we were able to get a decent amount of kills and i guess take them off of their game the only problem is our teammates they were still running on one by one and getting picked off so the only we, it was basically just me and dng battling against them because our teammates would just run in and same thing with me i should have waited more so just to have at least a little backup i mean i couldn't get any teammates but i should have waited for dng more that way i wouldn't you know always die but i felt like this area right here we did some good teamwork work because someone i would miss dng would be able to pick up and we were just working together really really well but unfortunately at the very end we do not clutch the win but i do i guess it's just it was really fun because i had to have like insane reaction speed especially like good aim using the arctic because if, if i were to miss i would not get that particular kill so it was like oddly like fun training to get around but it was wild because we didn't expect it like imagine you're just going in like hmm hey why is it no one upstairs why is no one on the deck they're all downstairs camping and it, it was kind of crazy but it was insanely fun so i'm gonna leave you guys with this gameplay i hope you guys enjoy it i did think we did pretty good I guess just hoarding them off for just not to expect it because like if you're going up against a camping team 9 times out of 10 you're not gonna win against that camping team like e even when I in my black ops 2 get days when I would play against teams that had the riot shield then you just camped you're usually not prepared for them they they will usually get the jump on you so if you're not prepared for them and they're getting the jump on you they're gonna get those first few kills which will basically have them you know beating you in the end so even if you are better than them camping is a very good i guess a very good skill or whatever and if they can maximize camping to the point where they cannot basically if they can use camping properly then they basically won the game because it's not like we couldn't like we could have just waited for them to come out but they weren't going to come out because they had already tricked us initially by getting those first few kills so we were always trying to go back in and take them out Another thing is our teammates were trying to get revenge, so there was that, but once they got those first few kills, there was really nothing we could do. We could throw nades down there as much as we wanted, but they had flak jacket on, so they were able to, I guess, get around those particular um, measures we had on the deck, because that was the only thing we had. All we had was nades and 
well my sniper breed that's what me and dng went in there with but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video this is a little funny thing me and dg were going crazy in the chat i wish i could have recorded um voice audio but i wasn't able to but yeah hope you guys enjoy this video and well enjoy this video and i guess follow me on my twitter and my insta right now my instagram is i'm making another one because the other one just wasn't doing anything it was like wasn't working so yeah i'm gonna have that coming out but stay tuned and i guess i'll have a video for you guys tomorrow peace out